That was my super fancy graphic intro. Hi, everybody. Hi, Liz. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Tiago. Hi, Carrie with just one R. How's it going? Hey, Fran Joy. We will link with you in just a little bit. Today is Thursday, April 30th on the Lisa D. Live IGTV show. And we are going to jump into this quick and dirty because we have a big show ahead of us and we've got several guests. We're also giving away Evanston Maid stickers, which we did last week and that was so fun to show our love and appreciation for all things Evanston Maid and our partners, hi Brianna, in this fun endeavor. So you can DM me and say, I want an Evanston Maid sticker, you just need to give me your address and it'll come in the mail. How quickly it arrives in your mailbox, I can't really guarantee. Like I know that I just probably mailed the ones that I was supposed to mail two weeks ago, like yesterday. Because when you have one thing to do, it's really hard to do anything. So today on the show, we're gonna have two guests, as I promised. Number one, we're gonna talk to, we're not gonna talk to, we're gonna listen to Nora O'Connor sing to us and she is singing to us before she has a concert tonight at 7 p.m., which we're going to let her tell us all about. Then, after Nora sings to us and says goodbye, we're going to have a great conversation with Fran Joy. Fran is an artist. She's a friend. She's an Evanston Made member. She's a total badass. She's very creative. She's working on a new project that she's going to share, but she's also going to give us some insight into what's going on um, and maybe when it'll end. Hold on. Hold on. I know this is gonna... My bunny hates to be held. <gasps> but it's the house bunny. Oh, it's the little gallery bunny who hates everything, including being held. Now the bunny's gonna bite me and I'm gonna die. Okay, it's gonna bite my feet. All right, hi everybody, that was exciting. Okay, Nora. We're going to patch you in. Hi, Nora. Hi. Hi. Thank you for really professional. (laughs) Um, Who is accompanying you today? Are you solo? Today I'm solo. My piano player decided to take a bike ride. (laughs) I'm so thrilled. I'm so thrilled he left the house. Yeah, you inspired that he actually left the house that's good left the house yeah so i'm playing by myself me and my guitar here okay and you have a concert after tonight i want to make sure you let people know yeah i wanted to talk about that so tonight um i have to put my glasses back on there's a live uh concert stream tonight it's on windycityindie.com windycityindie.com i-n-i-e okay and um it's called Our City of Neighbors, and it's a live stream, co- stream concert. And some of us did some pre-recorded stuff. Some people are probably chiming in and doing something live. But it's raising money for four organizations that are really, really on the front lines in Chicago. Metro Family Services, the Greater Chicago Food Depository, Chicago Lawyers Committee of Civil Rights, and another organization called My Block, My Hood, My City. Nice. And a really great variety of um, performers, Jeff Tweedy, Katie Cadden, uh, the Mariachi Sirenas, the seven-piece all-lady uh, mariachi band from Pilsen. They're amazing. Oh. Um, Rick Wilson, the Terriers, John Lankford is going to do something with his kids. So tune in. It's at 7 o'clock Chicago time. Oh. And uh, it should be a lot of fun. What are you singing for us, Nora? We're all kind of excited. Today, here, right now? Yeah. So today, I'm going to sing for you uh, our mutual friends, Dan and Annie, and Zoe and Mark, and Chris and I, we all went to a house concert to see a band called Wussy back in January. And I'd never seen them before, and I fell in love with them. And it turns out I met him in Cincinnati in 1998 when I was playing with my band, The Blacks. And we played at a place called Sudsy Malone's in Cincinnati. 
where you can do your laundry and play a rock show at the same time. So I'm going to play one of their songs right now. Awesome. Thanks, Nora. We're excited. Yeah, thanks for having me, Lisa. Sometimes I like to think about the stars that cover you, how they burn out one by one until another day is through. You came by when I was sleeping to unveil your newest plan. We can get to know each other in the backseat of your van. Actually, I think it sounds great. Great. What yeah. happened to your Knott's Landing filter that you had on earlier? Well, yeah, I cleaned off the olive oil. <laughs> and then I to do like really big hair. And I'm like, like, stop it, Lisa. Just be kind to these poor people. Awesome. Well, thank you for that song. <laughs> Love you. You're welcome. Thanks. And Tune in at 7 o'clock. Seven... Thanks, Lisa. Thank you, thank Bye. You. Bye. Awesome. Nora O'Connor singing us to direct. No one is getting to know anybody in the back seat of any van during these Rona times. Sorry about the bunny scare earlier, um, but I thought, you know what? It's good for everybody to get to know who's in the house. All right, Nora O'Connor, Thursdays. She's singing us a song on Thursdays, which makes me very really happy. So thank you everybody for jumping in. We are on the Lisa D show. If you missed yesterday's show or really any show, they are all on the Evanston Made IGTV channel. Um, you're welcome to watch them anytime. Watch them all, watch one minute. I am sitting in front of a Dave Ford truck drawing. You can learn more about it on Ford Art. No, DaveFordArt.com, sorry. Also, do do do, DM me so that I can send you an Evanston Made sticker if you want one, because it's Thursday and we're giving away five, because that's all that I have left. Okay, now we're gonna jump into a conversation with Fran Joy. Fran, I am going to reach out and invite you to connect and join the show, and it's gonna be great. Also, if you could wave again, Fran, so I can grab you from the feed, that would be great. Um, I need to have a little, uh, I need to have a little convo with Fran Joy specifically about what's happening on the planet. She is one of those people who knows deeply about what's happening. She knows um, essentially where we're all gonna be in the next, mm, several months based on what's up in the sky based on some tea leaves and some palms and some planetary readings that she does. And essentially we're going to talk to her also about a new project that she has started. Um, I shared on the Facebook page a recent painting by Fran Joy. Ah, oh, there you are. There I am. 
Oh, you're so beautiful and I miss you. I miss you too. We got lots to do, you know. I know, and we had to put a lot of our projects on hold because of this BS, but it's fine. We're going to go back to normal and we'll work together again. Yes, we will. You put a beautiful painting up on social media on Monday in front of a gorgeous planetary panel of paintings. Yes. I have been uh, studying the solar system uh, for well over 20, 25 years uh, and its effect on society and on individuals. So, you know, we kind of live in our own little bubble and all of that is going on out there, but you know, it's like nobody cares, but uh, it actually has some meaning. We're kind of a microcosm of the solar system. So different planetary movements actually have impacts on what's taking place in society as well as on individuals. So it's kind of nice to know what those things are and what they're about. I don't have all the answers for sure, but I can tell you some things about what's going on. Yeah, and what I wanted to do today is because I know that you and I have, you are capable of going very deep into explaining everything. But for, you know, a 20 minute interview while we're talking about subjects that are super broad, what is your bite size version of you? A couple weeks ago, we talked about where the planets are and when the hell they're going back to normal. <laughs> Talk to us about that a little bit. I've been trying to figure out how I can uh, narrow this down so <laughs> I don't give this whole uh, huge lesson uh, in this uh, short period of time. But I think uh, what's most important for people to understand is this is a particular time period, uh, one for the ages, I would say. Um, two planets in particular, Pluto and Saturn. First, I'm going to tell you what they represent as entities and then where they are right now and what that means and then how that applies. Okay, Pluto is this tiny little planet. They tried to say it wasn't a planet for a while. They had to bring it back and make it a planet. I don't know what was wrong with them in the first place because Pluto is the most powerful planet out there. Okay, Pluto is about transformation is going to change something from something to something, uh, usually in a very dramatic way. Mm -hmm. And it takes a very long time. So this particular planet, it takes a long time to change from one place to another place. It started out right here in 2008, January, February time frame. It's not going to be done until 2024 December when the age of Aquarius comes in. So it's been doing a lot of damage. So let me tell you a little bit about it. It's right now in the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn uh -huh. representing old society, representing institutions, representing organizations, representing government. If you notice, all of those things seem to be gone. <laughs> Destroyed, replaced, uh, not happening. Uh, things that we once relied upon are no longer there for us to rely upon them as systems, so to speak. Uh -huh. so it's been doing its thing since 2008, and it's not done yet, and it's going to go on to 2024. Okay, Capricorn in of itself is an Earth energy so it's disrupting all of the earth and the things that we rely on and stand on okay the other planet that's taking place with a major impact is saturn saturn represents boundaries borders restrictions uh law structures that restrict or change whatever's taking place in society it's also in capricorn right now uh -huh. It just switched. I'm sorry. Let me correct that. It just switched in March to Aquarius. And let me tell you the difference with Aquarius energy versus Capricorn energy. Aquarian energy is air. It's thought process. It's, you know, vision. It's visionaries. It's um, humanitarianism. 
it's uh, futuristic, and it's broad-based. So it takes in the bird's eye view. It shows you the whole entire thing that's going on, not just what's happening in your little bubble. So mm -hmm. it's switched, and it's going to be there till about July. So people need to understand right now, before the end of July, that this is when you uh, think outside the box. A lot mm -hmm. of people have had to change based off of working from home versus off of schooling from home. Uh, that's changed people's entire realities. Um, how do they handle teaching their children themselves, uh, basically, uh, while you're having to be quiet at home for the ones who are working from home? Uh, it's a lot of change. Some of them have been abusive realities, so they got to deal with that as well. So it's you, whatever you have to do, you got to think beyond what you have normally thought about or your normal way of doing things. So that's going to be there till about July. Uh, in, Fran, wait, Fran, I was hoping you were going to come on and you were going to be like, everything. I'm going to give you some good stuff. It's not just, in two it's, weeks, Lisa D. Age of Aquarius comes in. Thank God. That is my hope. My hope is also for December of this year. Because once it goes retrograde, uh -huh. what retrograde means to me is it's going to go backwards and it's going to give you a chance to redo if you didn't get it the first time. Uh. If you don't get it the next time, it's kind of a test period. Then it's going to kind of make it a little bit harder. So uh -huh. look at the things it's trying to teach you. It's trying to teach you things about borders. It's trying to teach you things about relating to another person, another culture. It's trying to teach you about being restricted. It's trying to teach you about being confined to your home and what that means. It's trying to teach you about covering up your face to protect other people. If you don't want to deal it for yourself, deal it for other people because they don't want to, you know, you might really endanger another person's life. Uh, I'm especially uh, considerate of it because I'm kind of a double entity. I'm a senior and I'm a black person. That mm -hmm. doesn't look too good for us. So, you know, that you got to go. not a combo today. Mm -mm. Yeah. The other thing is, do you want an authoritarian government? <laughs> Sorry about that. Do you That's want okay. an authoritarian? <laughs> these, these things happen. This is the new world. Um, mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. want an authoritarian government or do you want a democracy? Do you want to have say so in the government and what takes place? If you don't, you need to fight for what you really believe in. Do mm -hmm. you morality to be at the level of this leadership right now? Do you want your children to think that it's okay to lie? It's okay to cheat? It's okay to be corrupt? It's okay to be a predator? Do you want any of that? If you mm -hmm. don't, you support. So this is a time period when visionaries should come up, stand up, say what they see, do what they do, and a different leadership can take place. So it's not going to be this horrible thing. I think that uh, it's not going to be over with. I do think that, for example, covering your face is going to be around for a while. It's mm -hmm. not going to be away in June. Um, everybody's not listening and doing the responsible thing. Mm -hmm. So you've got to account for all of those who are not doing that because they're going to bring back a whole bunch of stuff come the fall. So mm -hmm. you got to think about it that way. But people are being more creative. They're spending more time with their families. They're getting to know their families better. Um, there are silver linings in this. Like the earth gets to breathe for the first time. You're seeing some certain mountain ranges that <laughs> haven't been seen before because of the pollution is down, because work is down. But there's going to be ways for people to find, you know, it's just like when um, you had to change things for uh, getting on a plane. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to take your shoes off now. Yeah. Nobody thinks about it anymore. They just take their shoes off. We are entering that kind of way. So it's like a new world order. So what do you want? It's going to be a battle over what you want the new world order to be. And you can participate in what you want it to be 
by speaking out, by being creative, by thinking of different ways to do things. And that will be the answer to make it easier on you in terms of what's taking place right now. And I know it's hard for everybody. People are losing money. They're losing people. They're losing <laughs> loved ones. You know, this is hard. But it's, I am hopeful because I feel that there are visionary people out there. And I feel that we're going to have to be more creative and more, um, more thinking outside the box to get things done and to um, make it a world that you want it to be. And, and you have the opportunity to do that. Yeah, you sound really, you sound as though the right, the visionaries are going to step into the mix and they are going to lead us to a new way. Um, that's something that you're confident is going to happen. I believe it's going to happen. I have to believe it's going to happen. I have a strong faith. Uh, I have a strong spirit. Uh, it's gotten me through a lot of things and I count on it and I rely on it and I know it's going to do the same thing in this place and space. Uh, so you have to be conscious of it. So you, you kind of start dealing your higher self right now. You know, uh -huh. a lot of things that have been taking place and happening, you know these things are wrong. <laughs> you know, you know that they're wrong and they shouldn't be taking place, but they are. So we have to get more into... Um, what's really right and what really needs to be taking place and who needs to be in leadership and how you're going to run your city, how you're going to run your state, how you're going to run your country, how you're going to run uh, international things, how you're going to run the, you know, how things work, how they open, how they close. There's got to be ways that people can come up with to get people back to work um, and in a way that's safe for everybody uh, in a uh -huh. slow and uh, thought, well thought out way, not like they're doing in Michigan where they're showing up with nope. guns at the we Capitol. You know, that's not the way. Um, that's just, to me, exactly what you don't want. Uh -huh. when you got a representative with a... Uh, um, a bulletproof vest on so they can vote on opening up the city or not? No. So yeah, I am a hopeful person. Um, that's how I get through life. And if you plug into that, you can also get through life. Whatever your faith is, you plug into that and let it lead you um, mm -hmm. to a higher place that you know is the right place versus the wrong place. And uh, I think that time will take place this year. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah. up. You <laughs> like, have pointed out that you're, you know, in, in making and in creating at this time, it's a great way to work through this discomfort and this really strange time. What new project are you, because I know you and I together had to put several projects on hold. Fran, for those of you who are tuning in who don't know Fran, um, check her out, F. <laughs> Joy on Instagram. She's an incredibly prolific artist. She's a community organizer. She's an advocate for not only women artists, black artists, her community. She's a busy, busy person. I'm, where are you right now with your next project? What are you doing? Because I know you don't always work alone, Fran. You work in, in big. So what are you up to? <laughs> um, well, I, I, I did finish some projects, uh, some art projects that I had not finished. I got those done. Uh, mm -hmm. I went through a kind of a down period when I just first thought all of this stuff was about to take place. And I was just like, okay get up, do something. Okay. All right. I'm going to do some things. And what I ended up doing was totally surprised to me. So I, um, I started sewing. I started hand sewing because I was trying to get some seamstresses and I just, it just wasn't connecting on the right way. So oh. I said, okay, I'll do it myself. And I wanted to make some masks but I wanted to make some masks that were stylish. Since we have to cover our faces anyway, why not do it in a stylish manner? 
So I figure I could do like a fall and winter line because it will be back. Um, <laughs> and it could be done in a way that my design personality can come out and do this. And at the same time, have some basic ones made that we donate. Don the first round is going to be to seniors. And so, mm -hmm. you know, and just you get a designer model and then we give away some basics to people that need them. So it's, it's just beginning, um, but it's been fun. And uh, it's probably going to be uh, take off tomorrow on Facebook. And it's called no. uh, Value Life Designs because it's about valuing life, everybody's life, mine, whoever Design. check with whatever, and do it in style. And so. you're fabricating masks. This is, this is yes. your new product. I love it. Yes, I am. And um, we're going to sell some and we're going to give some away. So that's how it works. We will share um, the post tomorrow on social media. People are asking on the feed what your astrological sign is, by the way. I'm a Pisces with a whole bunch of Aquarian energy. So I have six airplanes, if you really want to know. So <laughs> I have thoughts up there that there's always a thought there. Always. Always. Um, and the Pisces is my more spiritual creative side. So, yes. Okay. And right, I do so private sessions and group sessions if you want. So let me know. That's right. So I also shared uh, Fran's contact information. So for, for the, your art practice that of painting, like the divider behind you that people can kind of see, have you been painting <laughs> in the studio? Have you been making that line of work? I haven't made any new screens, which I do want to, uh, but everything got kind of got shut down when I was thinking about doing that. I still want to. I've got some ideas for some, some large screens, um, but I did finish uh, a couple of new pieces that uh, we're supposed to still have our show, um, Soul Works Comes to the Evanston Arts Center um, in June. Until further notice, it's still on, and that's uh, 12 um, African-American and others of uh, mm -hmm. artists that will um, put on a show. And I know my time is running out, so I don't. <laughs> and, uh, and Evanston Made. I've got a piece for Evanston Made. I'm kind of slow right now, but uh, hopefully we can get all of that together, too, so. Nice. So you're staying at the end of the day, Fran, you're staying very busy and you're staying very connected via Zoom and FaceTime to humans. A lot of Zoom lately and um, with my family, uh, you know, it's, it's been interesting. It's been interesting and, it, and you connect on that level with my grandkids and, uh, you know, my other daughter in New York and Malika here. And um, it's, it's I, I can say... I'm one of these people I can stay in. I do miss friends, like going out, you know, having our little lunches or, a, you know, a little bit of wine. Uh, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It could be worse. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this as long as we have visionary creatives like myself who remind us how to do it right. So I'm yeah. grateful for you. I appreciate you so much being here today to talk all of us off the cliff. <laughs> it's it's going to be okay. We, we, we just got to stay strong and buckle up. And we'll be okay. All right. Thank you, Fran Joy. Have an awesome afternoon. Love you, Lisa D. Love you very, very much. <laughs> Not so we're just going to go ahead and write that on a little piece of paper. I took some notes when I was talking to Fran. We can do this. We're just going to buckle up. And like I've heard so many times before, we are the people who we're waiting for. We're going to lead the new normal. We're going to create new ways to engage. And we're going to create ways to really stay connected and keep listening to people like Fran who are beautiful and thoughtful and are really
They work big, Denise. They work really big. They work in the big. And I'm just so grateful for the show because every day at six o'clock, it's a conversation that I can have with someone who's like, okay, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So tomorrow we're back inside an art studio with Sheila Aurora. She's on Instagram and an incredibly prolific painter, but she's had to pivot and change her practice a bit to accommodate what it's like to not have access to your studio and to be making in your home. But still, she's working smaller. She's very, very busy. She's going to be live with us tomorrow. So stay tuned. Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Fran. And thank you, everybody, for listening. Oh, that's right. The first five people who DM me, get an Evanston made sticker. So cute. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, Tiago. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow at 6 o'clock.